He electrocuted dogs. Did you know that? Shocked the hell out of him. Not just dogs, all kinds of shit. You remember how he had that argument with Tesla and Westinghouse about the current? You know, AC versus DC? Well, the sick bastard decided the way to convince cities to use DC was to say that AC could kill people. So he just started killing this and that with alternating current electricity to prove his point. The whole thing started in New York because Edison had run his DC wires underground, but Westinghouse had run it up on poles, you know, like telegraph wires. And these big fucking cables just started to fall down and kill people. Plus, there were deaths at the plants, with guys getting shocked here and there. And because the nature of DC is that you're only setting a steady amount of exactly what you need to turn on a lamp, no wire is going to contain enough voltage to kill you. Or at least that's what Edison was claiming. But if you ask me, that's not a problem with AC. That's just a problem with the dumb fuck who strung miles of electrical wire above a major metropolis and didn't use a quality cable or just didn't run it underground anyway. So instead of just using the New York incidents or the plant workers as sufficient e evidence, the sick fuck goes out of his way to electrocute things that otherwise would have led long, happy lives, just to prove his point. He would buy stray dogs from neighborhood kids and shock them with, say, a thousand volts of DC and increase it more and more to maybe about 14 fucking hundred until the dog died to prove that the amount of DC running through the city systems wasn't enough to permanently harm anyone. Then he'd give it maybe 300 volts of AC and the fucking thing's eyes would bleed and Edison would just watch and scratch his beard and say to himself, hmm, yes, I see. So the cocksucker does this to just about every stray in New Jersey and runs out of dogs. I swear on the good fortune of President Wilson, the sick fuck ran out of dogs. So the ASPCA contacts him. I guess they'd heard he was electrocuting half of West Orange and sent him a letter asking him what he knew about using electricity to euthanize animals. And the jerk writes back saying, in so many words, Incidentally, I've been shocking the hell out of any dog I can get my hands on at varying strengths, trying to figure out the maximum amount they can withstand without dying. I don't suppose you could send me some spare dogs that need killing, could you? Suffice to say, he and the ASPCA did not end up doing business. Plus, he killed that elephant on Coney Island. Topsy. The poor fucking thing was mistreated, and of course it ended up killing a trainer or two, wouldn't you? So the geniuses at Luna Park say, This elephant is dangerous, better kill it. And of course Edison, asshole that he is, jumps at the chance, films it, and shows it all around the country. Did you know he used to shock people? For fun, like a parlor trick. When he was a teenager working for Western Union in Cincinnati, he worked late nights, you know, and he'd get bored. So he started making electric rat traps and killing all the rats in the old restaurant they used as an office. He'd also go to a railroad house into the bathroom where he detached electrodes to the handles of a leaky sink. He'd hide above the rafters and watch through a peephole as workers would come and stand on the damp floor and touch the faucet handles. And well, you know, zip, really funny. The guy's muscles would contract, making it impossible for him to let go of the handles. Real fucking funny. What a bastard.